guys. We'll wait for her to start sinking in here. Hi, Bobby. Okay. See you on camera. Yeah. See you on camera. Hi, <laughs> she should start circulating here. Unless we gave her. Yeah, it was it reverse? Feel her jaw on. Does she feel like she's nice and lax? Okay, reverse. You, yeah, you that's in your left hand. Okay. There you go. You can just scissor with your right hand. Make sure you don't rock back into the teeth, okay? Mm -hmm. oh. That's it. Okay. Little deep. So try to come back. Come back and up a little bit. There you go. There you go. You got two cords in right there. Now, is he over to Look, the side? He's the actually not directly midline on that, but... Yeah, it's a little slight to the left. Sass. 100%, you're good. Okay, good. Now, let him pull the style up. Make, sure watch, watch the the Make sure you watch the balloon go through. Go through. So, balloon's gone through. There's the first line, there's your second uh, one. Okay, oh. you good there? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, go ahead and pull the, pull on, pull the tube and pull the, the blade out. Watch the tube. Hold on, that's your life. Now, Dimitri, is, is that your first one? Second. Second one. Okay. With with the uh, C Mac. Yeah. Yeah. See how junky she is? Yeah, sounds really junky. So she's got no gastric sounds. Got good pump sounds. Equal? Yes, they are equal. Okay. So now we'll secure that and then we'll have to put an engine in. Just hang on for two and we'll get it tight again. What are they doing with these now, nowadays? Pull back a little bit? Pull out a little bit? Yeah, 26 at the left. You're going to so pull back. Like so, Todd, what words of advice to, to Dimitri could you give? Um, well, we kind of told him beforehand um, we were using a big blade. And I think one of the biggest things is we did go a little too far. And that's kind okay. of why I was trying to pull back a little bit to get the epiglass to flop in the view. Yeah, yeah. Um, we almost were using it as almost as a Miller rather than a Macintosh and grabbing yeah. it. But uh, so you just kind of, it's just a little bit of finesse and kind of sometimes a little bit of uh, changing your angle and pulling back a little bit. And then boom, Epiglottis popped in view and you can see nice chords. Yeah. Um, and then we sometimes get a little carried away too. We, we always like to go in a little too deep. And that's where, as you do more of them, you get more cognizant of how deep you're going and yeah. where your two placement is. Good, good. Um, that, so what was your indication for the innovation? So um, she was an overdose. Um, she had taken insulin, Xanax. She's getting bradycardic. Um, uh, let's go ahead and back her up a little bit. We'll give her a couple more. All right, it's coming back up. Yeah, it's coming back up now. It may just be a vagal response. So, so um, but um, so she was an overdose on, and she took an entire bottle of Humalong. She took Xanax, Percocet, Lyrica, and then also did some um, a mixture of uh, amphetamines and PCP. Wow! So did she um, inject the Humalong then? Uh, presumably, we, okay. we don't know. But there was a suicide letter saying what she took, and the empty bottles corresponded with that as well. Okay. Okay. Um, and how are you maintaining her uh, glucose? Is, is she getting hypoglycemic? She keeps yeah. She keeps doing it. We, she's had a total of four keep amps bagging, so far. Keep two two by EMS yeah. and two by us. And she keeps dropping down. Okay. She um, has been minimally responsive before, so I was kind of watching her to see um, see if she perked up before we did decide to control her airway. Um, but it, basically, it's not reassuring. Um, and I've also given her one and a half of Narcan, and that hasn't um, caused her to wake up as well. So, okay. Um, she's already has evidence of aspiration on chest X-ray and clinically by listening to her lung sound. So, uh, decision was made just to go ahead and control her airway. Um, okay. But we are. You asked about the. Um, the insulin. So we gave D50, and um, we also have on into 10 drip right now. Okay. Um, which we're trying to tailor to her, but um, if we don't get uh, an adequate response, we'll try something like octreotide or even going up and have a of wine and go up on the, on the D25. Okay. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Good. Thanks. I think that's educational. Yeah. Yeah. She's got to happen. You're an alpha. So. Yeah.